In the eighth season of One Day at a Time, Valerie Bertinelli's character tied the knot. But it was her real-life wedding one year earlier that made headlines when Valerie became a rock star wife. We have a really good therapist. <laughs> Couples therapy. It was a fairy tale union from the start. America's sweetheart and rock and roll bad boy, Eddie Van Halen. But through the years, the couple was plagued by tabloid reports of fights and discontent. They even addressed some of those accusations when they sat down with us back in 1982. Right now, the Enquirer had a wonderful story on us that we were breaking up and that I can't stand my husband and I hate this marriage. <laughs> Which is totally ridiculous. I mean, it had us screaming obscenities to each other in a restaurant that neither of us have ever been in. We're stubborn, and we're going to make it work no matter what. We've had some hard times. We've had really wonderful times. We have a child. You just, you don't give, I mean, when you have some rough spots, you just don't go, okay, fine, I, I don't want to do this anymore. Hey, Gal. What did she make? Gal. <laughs> While Valerie credits sheer determination for their longevity, in 1984, she and Eddie conceded that the occasional disagreement was healthy. Well, you wouldn't be normal if you didn't have fights, but we're still together. So that, that's really what makes it count. Oh, here comes the booze. Hey. Publicly, Valerie joked about Eddie's love of liquor, but it played a prominent role in the couple's marital issues. After time in rehab, the rock star finally gave up the bottle in 1995. And despite the skeptics, Valerie and Eddie recently celebrated their 20th wedding anniversary. I don't know what he's got planned, but I don't have too much planned. He's going to be, he's working, Wolfie's in school, I, I think we'll probably have a nice dinner at home, There's the three of us. Put Wolfie to bed early. <laughs> Wolfgang, named for Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, was born in 1991. The Van Halen's only son was nothing short of a surprise for the couple, who had already suffered a miscarriage. Again, the tabloids were merciless, and once again, Valerie set the record straight with E.T. The miscarriage I had was an accidental pregnancy, and yes, it was tragic. I mean, I... We wanted the baby when I found out I was pregnant, but uh, no, we've been putting it off and putting it off and saying, well, we're not old enough, we're not ready enough, we're too, you know, immature. And finally, when they canceled Sydney, um, Ed and I said, okay, I guess, you know, not getting any younger, let's, let's go for it. And two weeks later, I found out I was pregnant. It's my favorite role. It's the only role I want. I feel like it was what I was meant to be. I was meant to be Wolfie's mom. That's what I was on here, this earth for, to be Wolfie's mom. While this role may pale in comparison to being a mom, it is perhaps how America remembers Valerie best, as one day at a time's Barbara Cooper. It's a job she was a little stunned to have gotten. It was the first big job I ever got. I had done like seven or eight commercials before that, and that was it. So it was pretty exciting. And then it got down to four people. And I, I remember going in and reading, and really didn't think I had it, but I, I walked out, and the casting director said, I, I need you to go sit over there, okay, Valerie? And I said, okay, sure. I thought I'd done something wrong. <laughs> and they, she let everybody else go, and she goes, I went, oh my God, that's the last time I ever won a part. <laughs> Suddenly, the wide-eyed newcomer was thrust into the spotlight in a controversial show about a divorced mom raising two young girls on her own. I didn't know. I was 15. I, you know, I was just so happy, and Mackenzie Phillips was going to be in it. And I had heard of her from American Graffiti. Valerie came on the show, a chubby little girl, and turned into an absolute beauty, you know. It was on the set of her famous sitcom that Valerie made a friend for life. On screen, Mackenzie Phillips was her older sister. Off screen, Max's drug problems were a life lesson. I think that's what made me really against drugs, was because when you live with someone, you know, in that kind of capacity, you see them every day at work, and you see what they're doing to themselves, it really makes you against drugs. Valerie's family was, you know, Italian, Catholic, very strict, very compartmentalized, very close. Valerie and Mackenzie say they are closer today than they've ever been. In fact, Phillips recently moved into a home a mile away from Valerie and her family. And while Valerie doesn't see fellow co-stars Bonnie Franklin and Pat Harrington as often, she told us they all still keep tabs on each other. My life is so different than it was when I was 24 and the show ended, so... I miss it. It was a lot of fun. I loved all those people. Still do. But it was, it was, nine years, I guess, is a long time. You know, I remember when um, doing the show early on, thinking, this is so cool. I'm going to, like, you know, be able to have this forever. And, like, when I'm old, when I'm 40, I'll be able to, and now I'm thinking, <laughs> old, 40? Well, no, it's not that old. When I'm old and 70, oh, yeah, then, then I'll have it. Of course, talk to me when I'm 70, and I'll think I'm not so old. <laughs> I have, so I still have some of the Sergio, Sergio Valente genes. 
that I wore back then. They're this big, <laughs> so I can't fit in them now. But it, it, I thought we looked really cool back then. Now I look at this stuff and think, oh my God, what were you wearing? And though she's content to be a stay-at-home mom most of the time, Valerie says she does miss working. She most recently appeared in the celebrity version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And we spoke with her just one month before she landed a regular role on the CBS series Touched by an Angel. At the time, she said she was eager to make a return. When I see shows like, like The West Wing, I would, like, die to be on a show like that. If I could do a guest shot on that, or if I, I mean, I love Sex in the City, I love Will and Grace, those kind of shows, but very rare that those kind of shows come up. They're one in a million. So, I'll just enjoy them and watch them from the comfort of my bed. Although Valerie taped 205 episodes of One Day at a Time, she tells us Wolfgang has never seen a single show. Stay with us.